There you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful seed beads white cuff bracelet. It's really easy to make and I'm sure by the end of this video you will be able to make it by yourself. I use really simple stuff, only seed beads and uh, if you want to support me and see more and more videos like that, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And if you want to support me, you could like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I need for this bracelet are really simple stuff. I need two colors of 11 o seed beads, a clasp here, I use toggle clasp, but you could use any type you want. And I'm using here two jump rings. I use Nemo beading thread, this is nylon thread, this is size O. 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters and I use size 10 beading needle, I use pliers to attach my uh, clasp to my work and I use scissors and now I have about half a span of thread on my needle and I'm going to start. Okay now I'm going to start by taking four of these beautiful black beads. Okay I have my four here and I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and I will show you slower. I'm going once, I'm going second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and you could do one more knot if you want. Okay, now what I do is that I go through this seed bead, the next one And I'm going to take three silver beads. Okay, I have my three on my needle. And I'm going back in circle through the same seed bead I'm exiting out of. Now this is what I have. And I will go in my next black bead like this. And I will repeat those steps. I will take three silver beads okay i have them here on my needle and i'm going back in circle through those same beads okay then i'm going through the following black bead here taking three and going back in circle through the same black one. Then I'm going through the last black bead. And I'm taking three silver beads like that. And I'm going back through this black bead. Okay, then I'm going through these two silver beads. And then I need five black beads. Okay, I have my five, then I'm going through the following silver. And I need five more. Okay, I have five, and I'm going here in my next silver. And I'm going to repeat this two more times.
Okay, and now what I want to do is take three silver beads and I'm exiting out of this middle black bead. Here I have two beads, here I have two beads and I have three silvers on my needle and I'm going through these beads here. Then I will go through the next three like that and I'm taking three more silvers and I'm going back through this silver one and through the following tree and then I need three more okay like that going back through this central black one and pull then go through the following three beads exiting out of the next silver taking three beads okay like this and going back through this silver in the middle okay I think you get the idea I'm going here through three beads you see reaching the central one and what I need are three silvers going back here through this one and I will continue this until the end of this row Okay guys, and this is my last bit here that I added. And now what I'm going to do is add additional silver row here. And in order to do this, I'm going through these two black beads. I'm taking just one silver bead and I'm going back in circle through this one. And you could also go through the following silver. and then pull and here I added one bead between my beads okay now I'm exiting out of this angle bead and I'm, I'm going through this black bead through the next black bead you, you see I'm going in the middle black here here I have one black and here I have one black I'm in the middle black and here I'm adding one bead and going around in circle pull it tight then what I need to do is go through the black through the silver and through the following two black beads you see where I'm exiting my goal is to exit out of this next black bead which is the middle one between those two and I need one silver I'm going back in circle and if you can in one movement go also through the angle black bead here if you can okay then go through the next black bead which is the middle of my three beads on this side I'm taking one and I'm going back in circle and my goal is to exit out of the next middle black bead in the row of three okay and now guys I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row
Okay, and here I added my last bit from this row. And what I'm going to do is go through these two silvers exiting out of my top bit. And here I need to add three black beads. And I'm going back in circle through this silver one at the top. Okay. Then what I do is that I go through this silver and through the following two. If you can do it in one movement. Okay. And I'm pulling. Then I'm exiting here at the angle. And what I need to add are three more black beads like this. Go back and try to go through as many beads as you can in this direction. Okay. And your goal is of course to exit out of this bead that's sticking out. And here you need to add three more beads like this going here through all of those beads in this direction and pull go here at the angle take three more black beads like this go here and if you can go through the following three beads as well okay and repeat the familiar step go here take three black beads like that go here okay and now continue this until the end of this row. Okay, now this is what I have and here I will go through this silver bead. Okay, and in this step what I'm going to do is add three silvers everywhere. Okay, I'm taking three and I'm going here in this middle silver bead. Pull. Okay then I will take three more silvers go here don't worry that your your work might start bending somehow then uh, at the end we will make additional step um, additional thread pad that will fix everything okay then I have one more row of three okay and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now this is what I have and I will make this stay with an even tension by pressing it like this and now I will make this additional uh, thread pad that I told you, uh, told you about. Okay, I'm going through these three beads and through this black one. Make sure there is an even tension. 
by pressing okay you um, you have to be sure your work is not bending okay then I'm going through these three beads and through the following three and if you can go also through this black one here and pull now go through these three beads and through the following three like that and go around the edges making sure your work is not bending Okay guys, and now I will continue this and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to show you how to make your knots and cut your thread. Okay guys, and I made a full circle around my element and here I am where I'm going to make a knot, okay? I'm making a knot by making a loop, going once, going twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling. Then I might want to repeat this step several more times. When I'm ready, I go through the following C bit and then cut my thread as close to my work as possible. And I will cut also this tail thread and one of my elements is ready. I will make more and more of those elements and when I'm ready to assemble them in a bracelet, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm back and I did more and more elements the same way I showed you. And here you see what I did. I did the same element, but I inverted the colors. So I started with silver and continued. You could do this or you could decide to make only this type of element. It's up to you. Don't worry if you don't want to invert the colors. It will still look really good without inverting them okay and now I'm going to take my needle with a long thread on it and I'm going to take my first element of my work and I will show you how to assemble it okay and in order to assemble it you go through some beads in this direction leave a small tail thread here then make a loop and add this new thread to your work okay making a loop going once going twice and pulling then what i do is that i go through the following two beads and i exit out of this black one here and here what I want to do is make a loop where I will attach my clasp, okay? Now I'm taking five seed beads and with this one I make a circle of six because I'm going back through it. Going back in circle through it and now I'm going to reinforce this part. Okay, going through all of those beads here. I reinforced it. Now, what I want to do is reach as quick as possible to the other part of my work to the opposite of my element. Okay, here I am. Then I'm going to take my next element and I want to connect them here. Okay, I'm taking a black bead going back in circle through this silver okay like this then another black one and going back here 
and you see what I have. I have something like a loop with two, with two additional beads added here. Then I'm going to reinforce this part. Okay, I'm ready. And now guys, I'm going to connect all of my bracelet the same way. I'm going through these beads exiting here, attaching my next element the same way I showed you. And when I'm up to the other part of my bracelet, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Hey guys, and I attached all of my elements the same way I showed you. If you forgot how I did it, rewind it and see how I I attach my first two elements and repeat it, okay? And now what I'm going to do is make here a loop. And this is the same loop that I did before, loop of six beads. I'm adding here black beads, okay? And I'm reinforcing. Okay, and I will make some knots and cut my thread. Okay, um, I won't show you this time because I showed you so many times before. And then I will take a new thread on my needle and I'll be back to show you how to make the final touch. And now guys, I have a new longer thread on my needle and I'm going to start my final touch here, okay? So in my first step, I will go here through this bead, okay? And here, what I want to do is make a loop and go twice through this loop to make a secure knot. Okay, and I'm pulling, okay? This is what I have. Now, I'm going to cut this tail thread here. And in my next step, I will go around this edge here. Because I want to exit out of this silver bead. Okay, I'm exiting here and here I want to take six black seed beads. Okay, I have my six here and I'm going through this black one. Like this. Then I will go through all of my beads in this direction. And I will take six seed beads again. Okay, I have my six here. And I'm going through this edge. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until I reach this part of my bracelet and I'll be back. Okay guys, and when I continue this work, I come to the end of my bracelet and here I have six beads to add at the edge. Okay, I have my six and just to warn you that these black beads are really small. If you're using slightly bigger beads, you might want to add five beads, but you will see this for yourself. And now what I want to do is go here around the edge of my element. And I want to reach this part here uh, and start uh, this side, okay?
Okay, and when I'm here, I will continue the same thing. I will take six black beads. Okay, I have my six here. And I'm going through this silver bead and through the following. And then I'm going to continue this until the end of this bracelet the same way that I showed you. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you how to attach your clasp and finish your work. Okay guys, and when I continue this, this is what I have. And now what I do is that I add my last six beads here. You see? My last six and I'm pulling really tight. Okay. And here I will go through some beads in this direction and make a knot. Okay, you see what I have here. I hope you like it, okay? Now, here I'm making a knot by making a loop and going once, going second time through the loop I've made and pulling. Then I will go through my next bead here. I will cut my thread and my bracelet will be ready. Okay, you see, this is my bracelet. Now guys, I'm going to show you how to attach your clasp here, okay? Uh, I will take one of my jump rings. I will open this one like this. I will put it here and take part of my of my toggle clasp. Okay. Then what I do is that I squeeze back my jump ring. And here it is and I'm going to repeat this from the other side of my bracelet and I'll be ready. Okay guys, and now my bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. And it's a good idea to hit the bell because uh, in my next video I'm going to be showing you how to make matching earrings to this bracelet and you won't miss it. And if you want to support me, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creation.